myself Sakshi Rao. Today I will try to explain one of the topic from engineering physics. So let's start. In this video we will learn production of ultrasonic waves by magnetostriction oscillator. This oscillator works on the principle of magnetostriction effect and the principle is when ferromagnetic rod such as iron or nickel is placed in magnetic field then the rod will magnetize and it will contract and expand due to these vibrations are set up in rod which results in production of ultrasonic waves. That is when ferromagnetic rod is placed in magnetic field this rod will magnetize and de demagnetize hence it will contract and expand which results in change in its length and hence vibrations are set up in this ferromagnetic rod at, and at higher frequency it results in the production of ultrasonic waves. Now let's understand the construction and working of magnetostriction oscillator. This one is the circuit diagram of magnetostriction oscillator. Let's see its construction. Here AB is the rod made up of ferromagnetic material iron and nickel. This rod is clamped at the middle. Now here there are two coils coil L1 and coil L2 which are wound around the two ends of the rod. Uh, suppose this is the ferromagnetic rod which is clamped at the middle and the coil L1 and L2 are wound around this rod like this. Here one end of L2 is connected to the base of the triode and the other end is connected to the ammeter and terminal of the battery. Coil L1 is wound on the right side of the rod along with the variable capacitor C and this capacitor C is connected in parallel with the coil L1. This parallel combination is connected to the collector of the triode. This parallel combination of L1 and C decides the frequency of the circuit. Now this is the construction of the mag magnetostriction oscillator. Now let's see how this oscillator works. When the battery is switched on, firstly current is passed through the coil L1. Due to this passing current, magnetic flux will generate in coil L1. Due to this existing magnetic flux in L1, EMF will induce in coil L2 due to the phenomena of mutual inductance. This induced EMF is again given to gate G of the triode from this side and to the cathode of the triode. This will result in amplify or modify the current flowing through the circuit. Now this modified current will again pass through the coil L1 and hence vibrations are maintained in the rod. Generally these vibrations are very small as the frequency of the circuit which is given by Fc equals to 1 by 2 pi root L1c which is not sufficient for production of ultrasonic waves as it requires very high frequency. Hence, on changing the frequency of the capacitor to the natural frequency which is given by Fn equals to 1 by twice L under root Y by rho where Y is the Young's modulus and rho is the density of the rod and L is the length of the rod. The rod will vibrate with its maximum frequency. This condition when Fn equals to Fc is known as resonance and once this condition of resonance is achieved by ferromagnetic rod vibrate, vibrates with its maximum frequency and hence ultrasonic waves emitted from the two ends of the magnetic rod. This is all about the magnetostriction oscillator. Thank you.